All right, this one came from the Edu blog, and the question is, what are the ceremonies we go through in life from birth to death like? Umbilical cord, naming, first kill, vision quest, etc. I think when I, uh, when I had my, my babies, the first thing we did was uh, have the welcoming ceremony, sometimes within days and sometimes in, in a few months. And then the naming ceremony comes. But first of all, when the child is um, is carrying, is still carrying its its biblical cord, when it falls off, we usually I did anyway. I I let it dry, and then I put it in a in a leather pouch, like a little little bit of beadwork around it. And then I keep it around the child, like uh, when they're on their ticket noggin, I usually hang it right there, so they can they can see it, they they know it's there. For me, I was told if I didn't keep that, the the belly button, the child will become, uh, say, a thief, breaking, always looking. When my, my children were were crawling around, if I see them looking around, I would throw their their belly button in front of them and say, Here, is this what you're looking for? And that's that's what I was uh that's what we do around here anyway. And then when uh, when my daughters got uh got to be a woman, we have that special ceremony for them. And then for a year, they don't go to the powwow, they don't go in the lake to swim, they don't pick berries, we just uh, keep them away from everything. They can do the work around the house, they can do their own sewing, and they also had their, keep their own dish for that, uh, for that time of, of the year. And then at the end of the year, we have another welcome kind of a welcome back ceremony. I think they call it blueberry ceremony. And that's when we gather all the things that we eat, all the all different kind of berries and different kind of different kind of meat that, that we gonna be eating. And that's when the the woman is allowed to be out there among others. And throughout uh, the life, we have all kinds of ceremonies. We we have we blessed our uh, sacred items. We we uh, we blessed our uh, spirit name. We blessed our clan. Usually once or twice a year. And then if you're a drum keeper, you you do the same thing for your drum. You you treat it like a, a person. You, you feast it every, every fall and you feast it every spring. That's the, that's the way we do things around here and also the, the first kill ceremony is also there. Whoever it is, if it's a, a, a girl, a boy, they catch a fish or something then we have a special ceremony for that. And everything, everybody, the boys, when they catch their first deer, whatever, we have that special ceremony. And for that is um, is uh, being thankful for all the the animals that you're going to be, all the hunting you're going to be doing, and that's why you have that special special ceremony. Special ceremony means the the animal is happy to be honored that way and my grandma used to say you get more that way when you do that and then there's parts of the animal that we usually put up on uh, hang it up on a stick and put the tobacco down for that and give thanks for you 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 whatever that you caught trapping is the same thing whenever when i was trapping i Whatever the first thing I get, whether it's a beaver or a marten, I hold the marten up to the, the sky and I say, Me quetch, Minito. 
and then I put my tobacco down. That's the only one I do. If I get to beaver next time, it's the ceremony has already been done. We respect, we should respect everything. When I, whenever I have, a, say, a beaver, we eat the beaver around here, beaver meat, and uh, whatever the bones that's uh, left from the food, from the meal, we put them back in the water where they. Where, they, where the beaver lives, and we do the same thing for the, the land animals, such as uh, a deer, a rabbit, partridge. We put those ba bones back in the, where they belong. Not exactly where you cut uh, a rabbit from. You can just put them on a the clean ground anywhere, as long as the, the dogs don't get them. So that's the best way I can explain the... What is it called again? Ceremonies. Ceremonies. There's, there's, people have other kind of ceremonies, like the, the special leaders. They have their ceremonies in, in their own in their own way, like the lodge keepers and uh, the fasting people. So it's it's a good life when you follow those myths. <laughs>